by the name of Mr. Exclusive, mm -hmm. and I am that artist that you need to know. I promise. All right, all right. So why would you say that you are that artist that we need to know? Nah, uh, it's just so many things I'm doing right now, and um, you know, as far as the craft goes, you know, I take a, I take a lot of things into perspective with the craft. You know what I mean? I really love mm -hmm. what I do. I try to take time to put it together. So mm -hmm. when I execute a project, it's done to the T. You know what I mean? All right, all right. So how long you been doing music? Oh man, uh, probably about maybe. 15 years, you know what I'm saying? Oh. Really. Yeah. Okay, okay. So what got you into it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That started back in the childhood, though, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's just how long I've been into it. Like, from band and freestyling and, you know, mm -hmm. making beats and whatnot, you know what I mean? So that just goes all the way back to that part of it. Okay, okay. So throughout your career as an artist, what would you say have been one of your biggest achievements? Uh, well, actually, um, my first biggest achievement was when I won um, an Atlanta Underground Music Award mm -hmm. for um, Artist Most, Artist Most Likely to Blow, which was um, last month. And then uh, right behind that, I got another award for um, a Ground Art Award for the Atlanta Producer Music Award. So those mm -hmm. are kind of back to back. So those are combined into one for me as biggest achievement because, you know, really don't care about the awards, but to get recognized, it really means that people see you working and they respect what you're doing. You know what I mean? Okay, so what is one of the biggest obstacles that you have to overcome? Uh, really, I don't, I don't look at, you know, the obstacle part of it. You know what I mean? Because you have to go through anything to get where you want to be. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, so everything is pretty much just, okay, it's a hiccup and we keep moving. Like, that happened and it's over, so we keep going. So nothing is really an obstacle as far as trying to get in or trying to do what somebody else is doing, because that's not an option either. You know what I mean? It's just about me being comfortable doing what I'm doing and make sure I I'm satisfied at the end of the day. So yeah. If I'm satisfied, I know my fans are going to be satisfied. Okay, so what would you say sets you apart from artists coming up with you or artists that are already out? Uh, really? It's the fact that now I feel like a lot of artists sound the same. Yeah. And they kind of piggyback off of what the last artist did to try to get in the game. And mm -hmm. that's not my MO. I pretty much try to do what I do and do what I feel in my heart when I do a record. You know what I mean? It's not to try to sound like anybody or try to make that record that they just made. You know what yeah. I mean? Because that really don't make sense to me at the end of the day. Okay, okay. So do you have any projects that you're currently working on? Uh, yeah, actually, my album, um, Flight 82, there's no release date yet because we're waiting on the distribution, and I have a, I have a couple of things, to, um, a few kinks to iron out as far as getting some tracks clear, but other than that, um, that's the biggest thing coming up, and it will be soon, um, but before that, we're shooting the video for my single called The Business, that's right around the corner, mm -hmm. um, we're doing the treatment for it now, so we're trying to get everything lined up, the locations, time, and all that, so we can get everybody together and make that happen. Okay, so where is where can people find more of your music if they're interested? Um, they can go to my SoundCloud link, um, mm -hmm. www.soundcloud.com backslash Mr. Exclusive Uno. That's U N O. Okay, okay. So, do you have any shows coming up? Uh, yeah, actually, um, if you're in the Atlanta area, September 6th, I will be performing live at Jamal Park for the Atlanta Underground Music Concert. I will be there. It will be going down. I promise you, you don't want to miss it. All right, That's all right. That's a big thing. <laughs> all right, so you sent your music into the station. Why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Say it again. I'm sorry. There you go. Oh, I said you sent your music into the station. Why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Um, It's really just, you know, again, like I say, it's just one of those things, you know, that how I was feeling. Like, I don't never, like, just sit down and write records, you know what I mean? Like, when I'm at home, I, I might listen to beats, and that might be that, you know what I'm saying? When I'm in the studio, it's where I do most of my crappy work, you know? When I go through beats in the studio, and I'm right there, boom, we write the bars, we write the hook, and it's over with. We record it right then and there. So it was one of those, and, you know, like, my single, The Business, is one of those records that, as soon as it was recorded, I knew that was that record that I need yeah. to push right then and there. Okay, okay. All right, so do you have any shout-outs that you want to give real quick? 
man, just shout out to everybody doing music, man. Shout out to North Carolina, my hometown, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Shout out, shout out to ATL for showing me much love, you know, my 18 family, uh, the Green Boys, you know, everybody doing their thing, good cash, there's so many people, uh, my, my boy Guap, there's just so many people that I can run down the list, all the radio stations that's playing my record right now. Yeah, you know I mean, I salute y'all and really appreciate it. Mm-hmm. All right, so do you, why don't you go ahead and give your contact and booking information? All right, y'all can book Mr. Explosive at doingthelegendary at gmail.com. All That's right. for anything, any information y'all need, anything y'all want to know, y'all can get it. I'll email the EPK immediately back to you. Well, my personal assistant will She'll email everything right back to you just as soon mm-hmm. as you get it. And do you have any page, like personal pages, where your fans can get in, get to know you a little bit better? Uh, really, I would just say um, follow me on Instagram at Mr. Okay. Sosa Uno, because that's where I'm most popular, at. And, that, and that works the same for Twitter, Mr. Sosa Uno. That's where I throw out a post and that, you know, there frequently and personally, like everything else for the rest of the social networks is done by my personal assistant, so I'm not really over there. Okay. I come visit mm-hmm. every now and then and say what's up, and I get I, I get back to what you know, yeah. what I like to do. <laughs> okay. Well, we're gonna play the business, but I'm gonna go ahead and let you introduce it yourself. All right. Well, check this out. We're going live right now on Taking Over Radio. This is close to the business feature. My man Mike Nelson. Turn this thing up. Let's go. Yeah, we- 